Hey boys and girls, I have another story to read to you today. This is one of our favorite authors in our classroom. His name is Mercer Mayer. We have a lot of his books in our room. The book is called, There's an Alligator Under My Bed. Now Mercer Mayer is the author and the illustrator. Remember the author writes all the words and the illustrator does the pictures. So he did both. All right, here we go. There's an alligator under my bed. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Because I knew he was there. Do you see the alligator? But whenever I looked, he hid or something. I don't see him now. Do you see him? So, I call mom and dad. But they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. There he goes. I wonder what the boy's gonna do. Oh, so I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things that alligators like to eat. I'm not sure all of those things are things that alligators would eat, are you? I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. I put cookies down the hall and fresh vegetables up the stairs. I put a soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and I waited. Sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet. And there he is. I followed him down the stairs. Followed him down the hall. Look, he's eating the food. When he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even a mess to clean up. The alligator ate everything. Now that there's an alligator in the garage, hmm, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting in his car tomorrow morning. What do you think? Oh, look, I'll just leave a note. So he did. There's a picture of the alligator and it says, Dear Dad, there's an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. Warning. Be careful. Oh my goodness. 